today we are answering one of your questions so our girl mama dolly's glam i hope i got it right our girl asked what should the ladies take to the clubs essential stuff that girls should bring um, i got you when it comes to what to take into a Las Vegas day club, pretty much you just don't want to take a lot. Um, I see a lot of people make this mistake and it's so tragic. I wish I could tell them. So that's what I'm telling you guys now. Hopefully you can help spread the word. Basically, you're going to get searched like crazy. So um, try not to bring a lot. The most simplest of things like gum, a hat, they will most likely make you throw it in the trash. And it's so tragic when you have to throw it in the trash because you're like, dang, I just bought this whole pack of gum. So if I talk to this guy, like my breath's not gonna stink. Well, swallow your spit because you're gonna have to throw out your gum. For example, I just wanted to go and choose just a random beach club's website so we can go through what you cannot bring. Then I will add from experience what else I recommend bringing and not bringing right after we get through this. So if you go on the Encore Beach Club's website, it has all the information and the dress code is where you want to start at, okay? So um, basically this big part right here, I'll see if I can highlight it for you guys. What this is saying right here is basically um, cover up ladies, like you can't go exposed, okay? I think some people, um, you know... Some people get a little too excited to be in Vegas. Um, beach clubs or day clubs with the pool parties that we talked about in previous videos. Those aren't the ones where you want to be exposed at. So ladies, uh, make sure you cover up. This next section right here is basically saying don't put a mask over your face. Like makeup is okay, but don't like, you know, try to cover your face up and stuff like that. Like it's probably not going to get you in. This next little paragraph is saying don't dress up like the police if you're not the police. Um, that might get you actually like arrested of course you can't bring weapons that's like obvious or even fake weapons like so no whips or anything like that guys just not allowed and then costumes aren't allowed i don't know maybe for halloween they might make it an exception but right here it says no and then this is the most important part where it says management reserves all rights to determine appropriate attire. Um, so just beware what you think might be appropriate, might not be appropriate. And what I'm talking about is like if it's really, really skimpy, like you're really exposed, like super thong or like super, like you might have a nip slip. Like ultimately they're just trying to protect you. It sucks that women can't wear pushing my feminist agenda whatever they want without having to feel like people are gonna like take advantage of them but it is what it is so let them take that step to help you out and make sure you just wear some clothes okay that was um the dress code so now the day club attire basically they're just saying like they're pretty strict um and like guys normal swimsuits are fine it's just like it, don't try to go in there like not wearing anything it's basically what they're saying but you can't go in like a t-shirt and shorts like and get in the water like yeah you could sit around but just guys make sure you're wearing like swimming trunks or if you're wearing jeans on top like make sure you have swimming trunks on basically uh, where they say no tank tops i've seen people with tank tops so i mean not all this is like of enforced to the t so the part where it says management reserves the right to determine appropriate attire like that comes as key usually they're not crazy but i'm just saying like heads up guys anything too crazy and you'll be okay all right, so proper swim attire includes swimming suits. So it's like basically just wear a dang swimsuit. Um, but then, so this is other stuff you can't wear, no jeans. You can wear like jean shorts, that's fine. Undergarments, so like you can't go in with like just your bra and your underwear. Torn off clothing, rip stains, see-through bathing suit. So again, like gotta make sure things are like covered up basically. No offensive prints, no chains or baggy clothes, no athletic gear. No clothing that contains rivets, hooks, or studs. I guess they don't want you to use it as a weapon. And European sunbathing is prohibited. So guys, these like, just aren't those kind of fools, okay? So this part is pretty important because I feel like some stuff here is just kind of random. All these items are prohibited and when you walk up, there's literally a sign that shows it's prohibited. But of course, no weapons, no controlled substances. So you can't bring like, I don't think you can bring like Tylenol or like Advil eye drops or nasal sprays guys they literally think everyone walking in there is like a criminal trying to sneak in drugs or alcohol so you're gonna get searched pretty bad so just a heads up again no gum mints breath strengths they <laughs> strip they literally like sometimes they'll let you chew it but a lot of times they'll just make you throw it out and it's so tragic when you have to throw it out 
So no water bottles at all. So you can drink in line though, I'll say that. Like if you're leaving your hotel, getting in the cab and stuff, like you can drink on your way there. It's just like when you get to the top, um, like the front right before you enter, they'll make you throw it out. A lot of them are nice, so they'll let you like finish it before you throw it out, but just beware. Um, vitamins, supplements, so yeah, you can't bring any pills. Over-the-counter medications, GoPros, cameras. One time I was able to bring a camera in, but I think I was really, really lucky. So don't bring your GoPros, guys, unless you're like really good at hiding it, which guys, these are like professionals, so they're actually really good at checking. I wouldn't waste your time because if you bring it, you're gonna have to pay for a locker, and lockers are anywhere from like 10 to 20 to 30 bucks, which that could go to like food or drinks, so just beware. Selfie sticks, colognes, perfume, so make sure you like spray it and put deodorant on before because that's really important. No marijuana, no vaporizers, and no party props. So bachelorette ladies, like, just beware. I feel like somewhere it said no hats. So um, comment below if you've ever worn a hat before to a day club. I'm not sure. I can't really remember right now. I would say less is more. Let's talk about what you should bring. So for guys, I really just feel like your swim trunks, like some flip flop and like shirt, all you need. And then for ladies, very simple, like your bathing suit, a kimono, shorts, flip flops or heels. For both guys and girls, do not bring anything expensive. Like people love to love to love to love to love to steal at these things. Like the most random things come up missing. So like if you're gonna bring like your Michael Kors or like your Louis, so I would suggest getting a locker. But honestly, like to save money, I would just leave it at home um, or in the hotel room because it's just like an extra thing to carry. And I feel like when you get there, unless you get like a table or something, like everyone literally goes and like hides their stuff shouldn't be telling this for the thieves, but everyone hides their stuff around like the venue. I won't say where, but a lot of people, a lot of people don't bring this one thing. And this guys is the only thing that you really need to bring. All right. So this right here, guys, is it's so clutch. Okay. You absolutely need this for when you go to a Vegas pool party or just Vegas to get in the pools. It is a waterproof pouch that you can get off of Amazon. I will leave my Amazon affiliate link below. If you guys purchase from that, I would be so greatly appreciated, but I understand like if that's a little too pushy, you don't have to. But this is a must, guys. Like whenever I go to Vegas and I have this, you can tell people are so jealous because people are like standing up with their phones trying not to get it wet. This, you guys, you can put your money in here, your credit cards, all of that. Um, I'm not gonna say like it's a hundred percent waterproof to me It is but some people like to do stupid stuff and I don't want you guys coming for me when you poke a hole in here when you're drunk So for the most part it is waterproof unless you rip it um, But these are bomb if you buy it before you can get them for like three or four or five dollars Amazon has them Walmart also has them for five bucks guys. This is so clutch. You will be so so thankful So if you're going to Vegas very soon order it now, I will leave the links below um but you absolutely need this when you go to a Vegas pool party. Like every year since I've started getting these, I see more and more people and so many people get so jealous. They're like, oh my gosh, I wish I had that. Like, bring it guys. You have to have to bring this, okay? I'm gonna show you. I have the iPhone 8 Plus and it fits in here. I also have a receipt from the last time I was in Vegas. I ate at Cafe Hollywood in Planet Hollywood and I paid $20. What the heck did I buy? All right. So I recommend, I'm trying to put it in with my case, but I recommend, it's so funny when we go because everyone's like, their cases are all over the room. But I recommend taking your case out because you can fit more stuff in here. So yeah, your phone literally just drops in there and it's just, the perfect amount of space for like your card and your cash and your ID. That's literally all you really need to bring. Like that's the most important stuff. When people don't have this, a lot of times they will hide their purses and their phones on the outskirts of the pool. And that's just setting yourself up for a really bad Vegas trip because those go missing. It's kind of like, oh, it sucks. So make sure you use my affiliate link below. This is Totally 100% pushing my affiliate link on you guys. I'm totally kidding. You don't have to use it. Make a trip to Walmart, but make sure you guys get that. I feel like that is the biggest thing you need when you go to Las Vegas for a pool party. Um, just remember, less is more. Don't bring your whole purse. Ladies, if you're gonna bring heels, get a table, 
Um, because nothing's worse than standing in heels while you're waiting to me. I don't like that. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you comment below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!